Hello and welcome back to IXL Tutorials. This is Mr. Duffick and we are continuing on with our transformations set of IXL. Continuing on with IXL L10, which is titled Compositions of Congruence Transformations, Graph the Image. So uh, these problems are problems uh, basically what you've seen before, except instead of doing one type of transformation, you're going to be doing at least two. So you'll transform the pre-image once and then transform it again in a different way. So for instance, for this problem here, we have a triangle and it first asks us to rotate the triangle 180 degrees counterclockwise around the origin. And then after that, reflect that image um, over the x-axis. So first thing is first, we'll just do the counterclockwise rotation. 180 degrees, if we look at our chart right here, all we do is we flip the sign of the x and y coordinate. We don't switch x and y at all. So we'll go back. It looks like j is at negative 7, comma, negative 3. So that's just positive 7, positive 3. So positive 7 and positive 3. i looks like it's at negative 5, negative 9. So 5 and 9. Positive 5 and positive 9. And then K looks like it's at negative 14 and negative 6. So positive 14, positive 6. So 14 and 6. Okay, so we just did our rotation. Good. Step two is doing the reflection across the x-axis. So remember the x-axis uh, is the axis right here. It's the line right here with the x on it. And so now we're going to uh, reflect the triangle over it. So remember every point is the same distance away from the uh, from the line of reflection as their image point is. So if our point right here is one, two, three units away from the line of reflection, that means our new image point is going to be one, two, three away as well in the same direction. So I'll do that. We'll go one, two, three, and then one, two, three. Great. Same thing over here. This point is one, two, three, four, five, six away. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six away. This one is nine away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we go down. I'm just going to jump down to negative nine because I know that's where it's going to be at. Okay. And that's it. So we did a rotation of 180 degrees and then we reflected over the x-axis and that should be uh-oh, what happened? Well, that is unfortunate. I probably just missed it by a little bit. All right, and that means we're going to restart. Yay. 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 Okay. <clears throat> Hello, this is Mr. Duffick, and welcome back to IXL. Nope, we're going to redo that too. <clears throat> Hello, and welcome back to IXL Tutorials. This is Mr. Duffick, and we are continuing on our transformation set of IXLs today. We will be doing IXL L10, which is titled The Compositions of Congruence Transformations Graph the Image. So, all this is, is they're going to give you a series of problems very similar to things you've seen before, where they give you a graph and a shape. And instead of performing just one transformation on the shape, you're gonna perform at least two. So for instance, this problem gives you a square and it says first, reflect across the x-axis and then translate uh, x minus 17 and then the y is gonna stay the same, okay? So we'll reflect the image or the pre-image across the x-axis first. Remember the x-axis is right here. So we're just going to reflect this image over that. So each point is the same distance away to the uh, line of reflection as their resulting image point is. So H is going to be one, two, three, four um, away. And so from here, we're gonna go one, two, three, four. And that's gonna be H prime. Go back to G. G is 10 away from the line of reflection X, the X axis. So we're gonna go another 10 down, good. 
I, and let's do F. F is 12 away from the line of reflection, so it's going to be down here, and then another 12 down. Good. And then I is 6 away from the line of reflection, and then another 6 down, and that should be good. Okay, so that's the reflection across the x-axis. We're halfway done. Now we have to do the translation 17 units uh, in the negative x direction. Okay, so if we start here, we can start at this point. If that point is at positive 5 on the x direction, then we're going to move uh, 17. If we start at 5, we'll end up at negative 12. So this point is going to be negative 12 like that. If we start at positive 11 and go down 17, we're going to end up at negative 6. So like that. We start at positive 7, we're going to end up at negative 10, so we'll drag it to negative 10. And then if we go to, if we start at 13 and go down 17, we end up at negative 4. And that still looks like our square from before. Perfect. And that should be it. I'll click submit, and that is correct. Sweet. Okay. So now we do a rotation of 180 degrees counterclockwise around the origin and then a reflection across the line x equals 1. Cool. So first, our rotation um, rule for rotating 180 degrees is going to be uh, leaving x and y the same, so leaving the uh, initial points uh, the same, but you are going to change the signs of both the x and the y coordinates. So we'll go back. And H looks like it's at 7, 13. So that's going to be negative 7, 7, negative 13. So negative 7, negative 13. So right here. Okay, that's H. F is going to be at positive 7, positive 4. So that's going to be negative 7, negative 4. So we'll go to negative 7 and then negative Four, like that. And then G is at 4, 7. So it's going to be negative 4, negative 7 right here. Good. Okay. So that is a 180 degrees counterclockwise rotation. And now we're going to reflect across the line x equals 1. So remember the line x equals 1, uh, that's just where um, uh, the 1 is on the x axis. So right here is the 1. So our line of reflection is going to be this line right here, right? It's going to be the line that goes straight through one on the x-axis. So every point, again, is the same distance away. So I'll grab this one and go one, two, three, four, five. Okay, then I'll go another five. One, two, three, four, five. Same thing as over here. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I'll jump another eight over here. So I end up at the nine, all right? And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then another eight, and we're gonna end up on the nine. So like right there, okay? And that should be a uh, reflection across the line x equals one, all right? So if we do that, we submit it, that is going to be correct. Okay, and you're not gonna see a lot of variation here. You're just gonna see one of the three uh, main types of transformations here. We're gonna reflect over x1 again and then translate it. So you're gonna slide it 14 at positive x direction and then y, uh, you're gonna go down 10. Do this, rotation, then a translation. Remember your rotation rules right here, right? Okay, jump again. And when you get to 90, Surprise, surprise, it's still the same. So you're going to reflect across the line y equals negative 2. That's just going to be where negative 2 lies on the y-axis. So right here is going to be your line y equals negative 2. You're going to reflect this shape over that, and then you're going to translate it 16 to the right, and then 4 down. So all right, that's where I'm going to end the video. Stay safe, study hard, and I'll catch you next time on IXL Tutorials. Goodbye.